was there a moment over the last three days that Shohei Otani was really open on the market? The Angels put him out there. Did that happen, Buster? For real? No. <laughs> okay. uh, in fact, I saw in the, in the last uh, in the last two hours, I've seen you know a headline breaking: Otani's off the market. He was never really on the market. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of teams this time of year will tell other teams, "Look, if you guys want to, you know, give us an offer, let us know." So much of that is about gathering information for the winter time. Uh, you know, Artie Moreno, the owner of the Angels, is hyper aggressive. He's absolutely attracted to stardom, which is why he, you know, uh, went over the head of his general manager and signed Josh Hamilton. Did the same thing with Albert Pujols. Did the same thing with Anthony Rendon. The idea that he's going to give up the shiniest object in baseball uh, a year and a half from free agency, I, I, there was no way that was going to happen. It, folks within the Angels organization acknowledge that. Now, the reason why you gather information now is they are barreling toward that moment when they will seriously have to consider trading him because there's a lot of indication that uh, Otani uh, might be ready to move on. Mm. Like he, you know, I mean, the Angels uh, have obviously been an incredible disappointment this year, uh, last year, every other year Otani's been there, almost every year that Mike Trout has been there. And, and the conversation within baseball circles is, you know what, Otani's going to be ready to jump to another team. And if that's the case, if the Angels, I assume early in the offseason, will make him a big offer, if he says no, then yeah, then you do have to begin to, in earnest, talk about trading him. Well, where might Otani be interested, Buster? And there's a city so nice they named it twice um, that I'm thinking of. <laughs> You know, but um, so what do you what do you what are you thinking? Because he did sign with the Angels when the rest of the free world was trying to get him. Um, and the concept was he kind of likes how there's no 24 seven, 365 sports talk radio and 15 newspapers coming at him. What's his what's his uh, his wants, do you think, on that? That's exactly right. Uh, I was talking with the general manager yesterday who was uh, going back over his notes from the time that Otani was available and the message that uh, the teams got after he picked the Angels was, look, he just doesn't want to have all the hoopla and be the number one guy. He can go to the Angels. He can just focus on baseball. Mike Trout can be the headliner, and, and he can just do his thing. Well, <laughs> You know, that clearly has to change now because he is the brightest object in baseball. You know, he's a one of a kind. No one's ever done what he's done as a two way player. And you wonder if he's moved that beyond that part of his career uh, where he is ready to be the headliner. Um, I, I've wondered about the Mets because Billy Epler was the most important person, the former general manager of the Angels, to lure Otani. He had developed a really great relationship with him to lure Otani to the Angels. Well, Billy Epler's moved on to the Mets, who are now owned by the richest owner in baseball. Uh, and you would assume that when Otani becomes a free agent after the 2023 season, that Steve Cohen and the Mets may take a run at him. Uh, you wonder about the Mariners, uh, who, you know, they, they signed each row in the past. Uh, if Otani wants to stay on the West Coast, that would be an interesting place. And, of course, the Dodgers, even though uh, – you know, there would be a lot more attention, in theory, media attention, playing with the Dodgers. He'd be surrounded by Mookie Betts and other star players. He wouldn't have to shoulder that entire burden. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what, what he decides, uh, how he begins to steer this process, if he begins to steer this process, process and what already um, you know, decides to do in terms of when to, to pull the plug. I don't know if the Mets go and get him or he's interested in the Mets. George Steinbrenner might come back from the dead just to <laughs> say over my dead body and then go back to the grave, Buster. Rich, i, I got to tell you, Rich, one of my great <laughs> things that I'm really excited about, you and I have never seen in our lifetimes that moment when the Mets, at full superpower strength, mm -hmm. and the Yankees, at full superpower strength, have gone after the same guy. It's almost like they politely have deferred to the other team in various moments in their respective histories. But at some point, whether it's uh, Otani, whether it's Soto and free agency, we are destined to have a full-blown uh, Mets versus Yankees showdown for a player. Heck, maybe it'll happen this winter for Aaron Judge. Oh, gosh. He's so awesome and so locked in. 
Buster. There's no question about that. Uh, in the couple minutes I, I have left with you here, you know, here on the program, with all due respect to Soto, you know, um, and, and and everyone else, we on this program, you know, talk so much about um, so many star players in baseball. Nothing moves the needle like Otani. Nothing. Nothing comes close to moving the needle like Otani. And I'm just wondering if his decision might be affected by Trout's health. What's going on with Trout? What is going on with him, Buster? So when the athletic trainer spoke to the reporters the other day and talked about this condition that he said that Trout would have to manage, uh, you know, I've got mutual friends with Trout. I didn't speak to him directly, but they were all right away like, no, that, you know, that's not that serious. Like, yeah, it's a concern and he's going to have to get treatment. He got a shot last week and, but the full expectation uh, is that he's going to, to play again this year, and they assume he's going to play next year. You know, the messaging I got back from the folks I talked to was uh, this is not as big of a deal as that long sounding okay. name of the condition that he has. <laughs> um, you know, we'll see. Uh, he, he's certain, you know, he's over 30 now. You hope he continues. Um, it, it's a fair question. And if you're Otani, you're right. You're looking at the Angels. They just can't put together enough pitching. They seem to step on their themselves all the time. And now you've got this situation with Trout. If you're Otani, uh, you're going to want a chance to win. That's what I've heard time and time again about him is that he just wants to win now uh, as he moves forward. And if you look at how the Angels have done in recent years, they would not be candidate number one for 